Hey guys, it's Joe from Joe's Talking. Have you guys heard of Notebook LM? So it's this new software, it's an AI software, and you can create a podcast by feeding it information. And the results that I got were unbelievable. But before we get to the video, I just want to point out that all the talking head stuff that you'll be seeing today will be shot with a brand new camera that was sent to me, and that is today's sponsor. So this video, this video is sponsored by Obsbot. So they sent me this camera. This is called the Obsbot Tail Air. I will show you guys what this camera looks like. It's a camera that can do so many different things. It has a similar quality to the DJI Pocket 3, for those of you who are DJI Pocket 3 fans. Um, but I would consider this more of a stationary camera. They didn't ask me to do a review on this camera. All they asked is that I do a vlog with this camera. So that's what I'm doing now. But just, just a little bit of background on this camera. You can group this camera. You can put like three, four cameras together um, and you can form an entire sort of live event sort of situation. Uh, you can live stream with this camera. It is, It does shoot in 4K, 30 frames per second, which is perfect. The other thing is this camera will track you. So if you look here, see it is it, it's following me. Camera is following me. Um, so it is a live tracking camera. Can attach a switcher so that you can cut back and forth from camera to camera. From what I can gather, a lot of people use this camera in live situations. They use it for uh, shooting their church or a band or a recital so they can get different angles. And one person can control all three of the cameras at once because you can use a switcher. It is an interesting camera for me personally though. It'll probably be a camera that I can use to shoot vlogs with only when I'm sitting down. You can, it is portable. You can walk around with it. It does have a micro SD card slot and it does have a battery and it does actually connect wirelessly. So that's pretty cool. But for me personally, I will probably only use it at my desk. All right, so thank you Obsbot for sponsoring this video and let's talk about something else. So recently a friend of mine, Marcus Hobbs, called me up, brilliant guy. He is a software engineer and he called me and said, hey, have you heard about Notebook LM? From what he told me, I was just so blown away that I had to try it out myself. I'm going to show you guys how I tried it and so maybe it will inspire you to try Notebook LM as well. Particularly what I was super interested in was the idea of being able to input stuff into a piece of AI and then have it spit something back out to you that was very human. We're not talking about human beings here. My son Jonah is in tech and he's looking for an internship and he's got his resume all set up and I sent it to my friend Marcus and Marcus said, hey, listen, I just threw his resume in Notebook LM and this is what it spit out. So he input his resume into Notebook LM and it spit out a full podcast between a man and a woman. And the crazy thing to me was that it felt so real. It felt very real. It did not feel robotic at all. It did not feel forced. It did not feel fake. Everything that I know as a human being, everything that I am tells me that it was real. So with Notebook LM, you can actually input other things. Um, like you can send it links to YouTube videos. Uh -huh. So I have a YouTube channel. What I want to do today is take some of the links of some of my videos. I want to input it into Notebook LM and let's see what it comes up with. This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. Okay, so here's what I did. I went into Notebook LM. I started a new node. What you do is you go here to sources and you hit plus, right? And once you hit plus, you have these upload sources. You can drop files into this area right here. You can Im import Google, Google Drive Docs, Google Slides. You can include links and you can paste text. So here, I went into YouTube, right? Went into YouTube and then I pasted my URL for uh, three videos. So the three videos that I inputted were a podcast that was on, that was probably about an hour long. Um, it's basically my journey from being a college student in Louisiana, at, at Louisiana State University, all the way up until becoming a television editor. The second video that I uh, input, I took a Casey Neistat uh, course on how to make YouTube videos. That's why I'm doing that. And finally, the last video that I input is a video called From Diapers to College, A Father's Journey. And that is my role as a dad and being an empty nest dad. Those are three videos of mine that I feel like tell a, a real story about who I am. And let's see what Notebook LM comes up with when we input this information. 
what we're going to do is we're going to notebook guide here. Now we want to click to load the conversation here. So we're going to click to load the conversation here. It's loading the actual podcast that it created. It's loading this conversation. That's all you needed to do was give it three sources and then ask it to make a podcast. Before we listen to this podcast and see the final result, the absolute best place to listen to a podcast is the car. So let's go get in the car. All right, here we go. Let's get to driving. I should probably put the podcast on before I start driving, right? That would make sense. Okay, without further ado. Oh, shit. This mount isn't as good as it should be. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? Stay there. All right. Here we go. The world premiere of Joe's podcast. God damn it. One last time. I have now adhered the Insta360 Go 3S to the windshield. Hopefully the sticky part sticks on the glass and I don't have to do this again. The world premiere of the Joe's Talking Notebook LM created podcast. Here we go. Welcome back to the deep dive. Yes, welcome back everybody. This time we're diving deep into film and television production. Oh yeah. We're gonna be looking at the career of Joe, mm -hmm. a veteran. That's me. That's me. First of all, what do you guys think so far? Tell me you're not blown away at how real this sounds. Has worked on everything from those blockbuster movie trailers Absolutely. to hit reality TV shows. Yeah, the guy's done it all. You've given me a ton of YouTube videos uh, from his channel, Joe's Talking. It's called uh -huh. Joe's Talking. Joe's Talking. And it's a really interesting channel. You know, he shares all his experiences and insights from his time in the industry. So we're going to trace Joe's journey from huh. his early days as like a wide-eyed right. college grad in right. Hollywood like it. to a seasoned professional today. His first taste of Hollywood was as a page at Paramount Studios. Okay. Working on iconic shows like Cheers, mm. A Different World. No way. And the Arsenio Hall Show. That's amazing. I mean, can you imagine being a fly on the wall oh, for those tapings? I would have loved to be there for Arsenio. Especially Arsenio, right? Oh. He starts as a production assistant. Okay. PA. I've heard of that. At a trailer house. Okay. He's literally delivering takes to major studios. Oh, wow. I mean, this is back when everything was physical media. I was going to say. So you can picture him running around town. With these tapes. With these bulky tapes. Oh, man. That's old school. It's so old school. But and I guess that gave him, like, this exposure to the post-production side, right? Exactly. And that's what plants a seed. Okay. He's like, wait a second. Yeah. There's this whole other side to the industry. Right. And it happens after the filming's done. And then he's like, oh, this is where it all comes together. That's where the magic happens. Yeah. And there's this amazing moment that Joe describes. Okay. Where he's at this high-end trailer house, right? Mm-hmm. He's delivering a tape. Okay. And he sees all these fancy cars in the parking lot. Oh. So he asks someone. It's like, what's going on? Is there some A-list celebrity here? Yeah, he's like, whose car is that? And the answer is, nope. Nope. Those are the editor's cars. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, what? The editors are rolling up in these, like, sweet rides. And it just clicks for Joe. It's a light bulb moment. He's like, wait a minute, the editors. The editors. That's where the real money is. That's where the power is. And maybe the real creative power, too. Interesting. And right? that... Okay, I have to say, so far, it is nailing my story. I, I can't believe how good this is. So Joe lands a job at the Ant Farm. The Ant Farm. Which is this big time trailer house in LA. Okay. And this is where he hones his craft. Right. He worked on trailers for like all these films. Give me some, give me some. Mona Lisa Smile. Okay. Jersey Girl. Oh, all right. Even as he puts it, critically panned films. Uh oh. Like Jiggly and Soul Plane. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, Jiggly. If you were reading it for the first time, it would say Jiggly. Now, Jiggly. For those younger people out there, that was a really bad Jennifer Lopez movie. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck movie, who got remarried or got back together and then got divorced again. So even though he moved into reality TV, yeah, Joe's still using those storytelling skills. He's still telling stories. That he honed in the trailer world. Okay. It just shows that like 
your skills are transferable. Right. Even across these different genres. Across. So I just want to point out something. If you guys are watching my content, those of you who are subscribers to my channel, you see my videos and this is absolutely true. The idea of telling a story is universal. It's not about the camera. It's not about the shots. It's about the storytelling. So I try and tell a good story every time I do a video for you guys and I hope that it translates. All right, so let me fast forward here. I love how his YouTube channel also oh. highlights his love of gear. Joe's talking. Joe's talking. I love that name. It's so simple. It's catchy. It's catchy. And it's cool how he's like using it to explore this whole other side of himself, right? And yeah. it's clearly resonating with people. It's like we're getting to know Joe yeah. on this like personal level. Like, not just the editor. Not just the editor. But Joe, the person. Joe, the person. And he's really candid, too. He is. And he opens up about, like, the and... challenges of, like, being a father. Oh, wow. Mm. Watching his son grow up. Yeah. Like, leave the nest. That's got to be tough. You wouldn't necessarily expect Ooh. that kind of vulnerability right. from a Hollywood editor, but it's so relatable. It makes him human. It does. Yeah. And it's a good reminder yeah. that success doesn't mean you have it all figured out. No. Everyone faces challenges. Even seasoned professional. Even seasoned professional. And it's okay to talk about it. It is. Right. Yeah. Okay, that little that little bit of banter there, that that is not in any of my videos. That is two robots talking to each other and in a very human way. That is nuts. Right? Oh, he's a gearhead. He's like what is he like? Constantly oh. experimenting with cameras, lenses. Oh cool. Editing software. He's like a lifelong learner. He is. Like, always pushing the boundaries. He's always pushing the boundaries. I love that. And I think it's inspiring to see someone with so much experience. Yeah. Who still has that sense of wonder. That wonder. That enthusiasm for learning. Okay, now they've just kind of gone off. Now they're giving their own opinions about me. This, this part is not something that I fed it. This is something that it is now starting to create on its own, which is insane because I understand the idea of feeding it information and them hearing a podcast about me and being able to sort of retell the stories in a maybe more effective way. But the idea that they can now take that information and then have a conversation about it amongst themselves. And I say themselves and their machines. Let's keep this conversation going in the comments. Yeah, please. Share your reflections yeah. on Joe's adaptability, <laughs> the power of mentor. Let's keep, let's keep it in the comments. Let, yes, let's keep the conversation going in the comments. What a way to end this video. Guys, what do you think? What do you think of Notebook LM? Uh, I, I'm blown away. I'm really, really, really blown away because I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Um, this is actually the second time I'm trying it, so... The first time it was pretty good, but this time it was even better. Um, because I think the first time that I, I, I input some stuff in, it had that conversation. I mean, it, it, it was a conversational piece, but it was a conversational piece about the information that I fed it. But now, this third time that I tried it, or second time I tried it, it, it feels like they input the information and then now they're having opinions about the information on their own, it's thinking on its own. I know this is a departure from what I usually do on YouTube, um, but when my buddy Marcus told me about Notebook LM, I was like, I have to try this. And now that I've tried it, uh, I have no idea where the future is, is going. Um, you know, if you listen to that podcast, it's like, I know exactly what's gonna happen. But no, I got I I have no clue. I'm just gonna try and uh, stay current, stay current, and that's why I'm exploring Notebook LM. There's other softwares too, like Runway ML and uh, Mid Journey. If you guys are using AI, I would love to hear about it in the comments and let me know in the comments what you think about the fact that it created a podcast about me and it wasn't bad. I mean, it was actually good. Yeah, it's. This thing is real. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.